Welcome back everyone, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a guide on movement. This is going to be a guide done in two different parts. This part is going to be part one, and this is going to cover uh, general movement, how to turn sharper, uh, some just general movement tips to help you guys track your targets a little bit better, move around the map more efficiently and quickly, make those sharp U-turns, and all that good stuff. Part two is going to be more talking about how to avoid fireballs and all that sort of thing. So keep that in mind. And in this one, this part, we're going to be, you know, I'm right here with you guys on my dragon here. I'm right here. Uh, on the part two, it is going to be more of me talking over some pre-recorded footage. So I can kind of show you guys some examples. Uh, very hands-on. Can't exactly do that in the frantic, fast-paced matches uh, as easily and give you guys good examples. So we're just going to use pre-recorded footage and talk over that. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Hopefully you guys do like this video. Hopefully it is helpful. I really do hope it helps. Um, so movement. What you guys are going to need to know about it. So there's some different things you guys are going to need to know. For one, if we go to controls here, just so you guys are aware, my sensitivity is maxed out here on the mouse for 5.0 on both X and Y reactivity. And I'm also using the tethered control type, which essentially what this does is if I turn to the right and I let go of my mouse, just like here, Right here, I'm, I've let go of the mouse and the keyboard, and my dragon is turning to the left. Hands are off the keyboard and mouse. I'm not doing anything right now. It is just going to continue turning in the direction I last had my mouse pointing to. If you go with the raw control type, which we will throw on right here so you guys can see. What this is going to do is, if I stop turning to the left with my mouse, it will immediately straighten out. So if I go to the right, let go, straightens out. I go up. Let go, it's going to straighten out. If I'm going down, I let go, it's going to straighten out. So, very much up to personal preference. Either one will work fine. It is just simply up to what works better for you. So make sure you come into Free Fly and give those a test. Now, something else I want to talk about. These are the two most important things. Uh, essentially, all you need to know is boost, right here, and you need to know break. Now, let's try not to crash into that. Um, those are the only two controls you need to worry about in terms of extra button presses for making sharp turns, tracking your targets better in close quarters. Just simply your boost and your break. Now, I currently have my boost on the space key. Uh, I've had that since beta. It's been the most comfortable for me. Uh, same with my break key being on shift. So if I say the space bar, uh, I would most likely say boost. If I accidentally say shift instead of break, I do mean the same thing. So just keep that in mind. I would recommend putting your brake or your boost buttons to something you're very comfortable pressing uh, multiple times in quick succession and often because they're very important. So whatever's most comfortable for you, that's what you guys should roll with. Um, but essentially, you know, if you guys have ever been trying to make sharp turns, right now what I'm doing is I'm holding brake so that I'm not moving a ton and I'm turning to the right. And as you guys can see, not very fast. We start turning to the left here. Not very fast, going up, definitely not fast, down, also not fast. So if you guys want to turn faster, so you can track your enemies in close quarters with your flame breath, or you're noticing enemies are doing it to you and you're wondering how they're doing it, simply all they're doing is they're holding their boost key. For me, that is space, so I'm holding this. I'm moving faster now. I'm not boosting, I'm simply just moving faster. I'm just holding down my boost key or button. And then what they're doing is that they are not holding their shift key, which will lead you to this same thing. They're holding their boost thing, so they're moving faster. And then they are rapidly tapping the brake button. Now, you don't have to tap it too fast. Just make sure you are tapping it somewhat regularly. And you will be able to get these really, really sharp turns from left to right, even up, as well as down. Just make sure as you're turning and you're wanting to make these sharp turns that you are tapping the brake button. Do not hold it down. You need to tap it. That's how you get these sharp turns. So, for example, we're flying around this rock and we want to get all the way around it. Make a U-turn, essentially. Tap the brake key a couple times and you can turn around. Very simple. That's going to get you your sharpest turns, so keep that in mind. If we get a little bit of stamina here, I can showcase to you guys a little bit more. So if you're boosting, and you know, you've got some 
you want to make a quick turn, you can make your turn and then immediately boost out of that turn, and that will give you a nice boost in that direction and help you make those sharper turns. So keep that in mind. Now, pretty simple, guys. Just basically, whenever you want to make sharp turns, remember to tap your brake key as you're doing it, and you will get those much, much sharper turns. It's very simple for the most part. Um, and then as you get more experience with it, you know, you'll get a feel for it and you'll understand a little bit better how sharp returns you can get. And uh, that sort of thing. Now, one other bit of movement that I would like to cover uh, for just some general movement stuff is if you are heading up and then you immediately come straight down with whatever you're using to move, whether that is your mouse. So I'm moving my mouse up and then down, up and then down so that you could do the same thing with your analog stick if you are on controller. You cannot do this while boosting, you will simply just go up very slow. But you can do this when you're moving at a slower pace. I'm not holding anything, I'm just using the mouse. And I'm also moving faster here, you can do it like this. And what this does is this will put your dragon into a dive for a short amount of time, which can help gather some speed for you. So if we do it here, that'll help gather a little bit of speed. It's not a huge difference, but it can help you if you're low on stamina, you're trying to get down to some rifts. And the higher up you are, the longer it will last. So if we go up here a little ways, you guys can see we're kind of high up. So we're just kind of moving fast. And then we kind of come down here in this dive. And it will put us into a dive. We're moving a lot faster. It's not going to be as fast as boosting, but if you're out of stamina, it is a good way to, you know, get a little bit of extra speed to try and get away from the enemies or to try and get to, say, a stamina buff, some stamina rifts, or even a you know, a wind rift such as this one here. So keep that in mind. Um, one other tip of movement I will give you guys is if you come to these things, you hit their bottom, and you make sure you're tapping the brake key as you're going up through them, and then you make a, tar sh tar a sharp turn, my bad. Uh, you guys can get some really, really nice turns. Let me go get the infinite stamina buff so I can just kind of showcase it to you guys a little bit quicker so I don't have to re-get stamina. So if you're boosting into one of these, you can make some really, really quick turns coming out of those. It's a really good way to get a complete U-turn. So make sure you're using those to your advantage. And keep in mind, whenever you're turning, you want to be tapping your brake key while you're holding your boost button. So keep that in mind. And then whenever you want to... You know, if you make a turn to the left or to the right, up or down, and then you want to continue in that direction, make sure to boost out of that turn to give yourself a nice boost of speed and continue your momentum. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, keep in mind that you can dive down like this without pressing any buttons other than just your movement. Uh, very useful. Um, it makes your hitbox of the dragon just a slight bit smaller if you need to fit through a tight space. So if you're trying to, say, fit under one of these, and you're not going to quite make it, you can always dive down just a little bit to help you out. Um, and it, it can be very useful, uh, depending on the circumstances. But essentially, when it comes to quick turning and tracking, you just want to be rapidly tapping your brake key. You don't have to tap it too fast, but, you know, just regularly. And then you can get these quick turns. I do apologize if these quick turns are giving anybody motion sickness. If they are, I do apologize. I don't really know of any other way to really showcase it off properly. Um, than just spinning in a circle, essentially. Um, but hopefully this is helpful to you guys. And that'll be part one. Some general movement tips for you guys. Part two uh, will be coming out. Should be shortly after this video. Um, if not right after. And it will cover evasive maneuvers. How you guys can use your sharp returning. And your boosting. To more effectively avoid projectiles. Such as frost bolts. Uh, fireballs. And hunter's marks. Things like that. So... Hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys. I really do hope it was helpful. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. And if this helpful, if this video was helpful, make sure to give it a like, as it does help the channel out a ton. And uh, just a quick thank you to everybody for being so supportive. You guys are awesome. Love making videos for you guys. And yeah, so hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.